join in a bond of inseparable love these your servants who are to be united in the covenant of marriage. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. Every phase in life presents to people new opportunities, sometimes new challenges. But no matter what phase that a person's entering into, there is one thing that is supposed to be shared among them all from the time we're very young until the time that we're very old. And that is love. All of these are the great qualities of love that need to be present, especially between husband and wife. Now, the good news is, though, you don't have to do it alone. There are going to always be people in your lives. There are people in your lives now that are special to you. It's why you have invited these people to be here to witness as you pledge your love for each other, the joy and the happiness that God wants every married couple to find the joy and happiness that will allow you to be assured that you have reached your full potential. Daniel and Brenna, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Yes. yes. I, Daniel, take you, Brenna, to be my wife. I, Brenna, take you, Daniel, to be my husband. Bless these rings which we bless in your name, so that those who wear them may remain entirely faithful to each other. Brenna, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Daniel, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. May your love and blessing come down upon Brenna, the bride, and upon her companion for life, Daniel, as husband, so that living out together in the gift of matrimony, they may enrich your church. May God, the Eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another. Let us now welcome Brenna and Daniel as husband and wife. Give a kiss.
fly ahead a little bit of time to the first time I met Dan. But I did it, and I kept an eye on this guy, <laughs> and I'm still keeping an eye on him. But I learned over the, over the years that they've been together that he is just as special as Brenna is. And I can't be happier or prouder of this couple right here. I love them dearly, I love them so much, and I always will. I will always be there for you guys. And I say to you, if I had a drink in my hand, I'd say, Nasrovia. goodness and gentleness as the person makes you shine and I'm so happy that now the person that has always been there to take care of me has found someone to take care of her and I also hope that Dan one day she makes you wear matching outfits on Christmas so you can suffer like I did to the walkers <laughs> So Brenna, today you're not only Dan's wife to me, but you're an incredibly close friend. And I can say with confidence that you make Dan a better person. Lastly, Dan, it is truly an honor to be standing up here in front of the entire room telling our entire history. Uh, I, I really do need to thank you for giving me a fantastic new best friend in front. So if everyone please raise a glass to my married best friends, Dan and Brenna.